That's enough politics. Now, apparently only one in every 30 Australians donates blood, and yet as many as one in three of us will need it. Donated blood isn't just used after accidents or surgery, it also helps cancer patients and many others. Kate Evans went to the blood bank to meet the donors and someone whose life depends on them. My name is Mike Texter, I uh, live in Charlotte. I've been donating plasma and platelets for about five years. I think this is visit number 65 or 68. I'm Paul Fowler. This is donation 175 today. And I encourage everybody to come in and donate one, one way or another. It's a simple thing to do. Uh, it doesn't cost anything and it, it saves lives. So. We've got a terrific support in, in the ACT. We have about 9% of the population actually do donate, which is higher than anywhere else in Australia. Dedicated regulars fill the donating chairs at Canberra's Blood Bank, but the service is looking at ways to encourage new people through its doors. We're currently trying to get the right blood for the right patient at the right time so that we've always got fresh supplies for all the patients who need them in the hospitals. And does Australia have enough blood donors or do we need more? We're always looking for new donors. Because we've got an ageing population, we need to replace our older donors with our younger donors. So we're looking for anybody who's over the age of 16 to start becoming a donor. And what is the blood used for? To keep people alive. <laughs> well, we use it for, a lot of it for trauma. We use a lot for cancer victims, people with liver failure and kidney failure. A lot of people um, have plasma products as a result of poor immune systems, so we're giving them um, immunoglobulins. We make our vaccinations out of our plasma products as well. So we're using um, our blood and blood products for people every day um, in all walks of life. All I do now is plasma every two weeks because this, this stuff's uh, what they... Uh, after the most. It does help people. I'm just told there's one in 30 donate and one in three needed, so it's of no cost to me and it's quite helpful to others. So why don't more people donate their blood? I can't because I'm on the wrong medication, I've lived in the wrong town, I've been overseas, I don't like the needle. And they're, they're the main things. I'm scared. I'm scared. But the needle isn't that big. We're all very gentle here. We're all well trained and very capable and very competent. And we actually have got very good distraction therapy. So we can chat and talk about absolutely nothing. And the donors don't realise the needle's in the arm. It's not painful. It doesn't hurt. It's actually quite relaxing. As I said, I do fall asleep quite a bit um, and get woken up by the nice ladies. Um, it's, of no, it's of no cost. It takes for blood about 20 minutes, for plasma about 40 minutes and for this platelet's about an hour and a half. It's not a problem. And I think only they um, give blood for, for testing purposes. It's, it's no worse than that, so it's quite simple. You get to lie back and relax while you're doing it. The bags of blood, plasma and platelets are taken from the donating room to the production area, where they're separated into different components. It comes to us, we then electronically receive it and decide what components it can be made of. We then spin it in our centrifuges, bring it to our opties. Um, you can see where the plasma and the red cells have separated. The opti will compress, the, send the plasma to the top and the red cells to the bottom, leaving us with a buffy plate in the middle which captures all our leukocytes and our platelets are in here as well. If it's um, a fresh product, we keep it here at the, at the blood bank and we'll distribute it down to the regional hospitals or we'll send it through to Sydney or we'll send it anywhere nationally because we are a national organisation. Do you think about the people who are going to receive or are going to be helped by your blood? Oh, yes, yes I do. Um, you can see there's lots of advertising with people saying of an incident where they needed blood, so it's, it's in your mind and that's why I do it as, as often as I can. Well, I've actually saved my life. Uh, in the last five years I've had two stem cell transplants uh, as treatment for the multiple myeloma I have, cancer in my plasma cells and uh, in 2005 uh, during the treatment I needed uh, to have whole blood twice and to have platelets once because my blood and the platelets just became too low to survive I certainly would not have been able to have the 
very large doses of chemotherapy and survive without the knowledge that there was a whole blood backup and platelets uh, to ensure my survival. And that applies to most of the uh, cancer chemotherapy cases where the, the chemotherapy is given in very large doses. Uh, people just would not be able to survive the levels of chemotherapy needed. I actually had the stem cell transplant on our wedding anniversary in August 2005 and within two months our first grandson was born and for quite a few months it was um, a bit of a race to see whether he'd grow hair faster than I could grow hair. And have you given blood yourself? Yes. Um, back in uh, my early days in the army um, we were encouraged to give blood and uh, during my first tour in Vietnam where the uh, battalion that I was working with, the Australian battalion I was with, was attached to an American airborne brigade. Um, we had some very hectic operations and on uh, a couple of occasions we were called on at very short notice to race down to the uh, 173rd Airborne Brigade Hospital to uh, line up and give blood to the uh, over 100 wounded soldiers that they'd suffered in a single day. It sits quite vividly in my memory. Um, you, uh, you hear of uh, emergency calls for blood going out around Australia now, but there's nothing that gets you uh, moving as fast as knowing that it's, uh, there's a lot of people injured and wounded and uh, that they've run out of blood stock and we were taken straight in, lined up on beds, gave blood, and uh, the blood was virtually taken from us straight into the adjacent wards and put into the, uh, the soldiers that needed it. Blood donors are a, uh, a very special group of people. Uh, they voluntarily give of their time and their blood. It's a, uh, it's a very noble thing, I believe, for them to do. What I'd really like to say for all of those uh, volunteers out there is to thank them very much for donating blood, for continuing to donate blood to uh, those who have become lifelong blood donors, uh, those that might be new to giving blood, um, I'd like to thank them very, very deeply because uh, it really, <coughs> it really means my life to me.